What's up everybody? It's me, Uncle Hammy, aka the drunk guy that ruined the party. This week I am testing this, the Raw Mantis. Raw is a brand new manufacturer that's going to be based out of LA, and this is their debut electric bike. As you can tell, this looks like a Suron, and it is designed to compete in the same category as a Suron, a category that I like to call the ultra lightweight electric dirt bike. This bike right here, I would like to stress, is a prototype version. There's a lot of stuff on it that is not going to come on the customer version. As a matter of fact, the customer bikes are going to come with even better equipment than this one right here. But it is still a very fun, very powerful bike, and I'm looking forward to taking you guys on a test ride with it. But before we do that, let's talk about the specs. The specs of the Mantis include a 60 volt, 35 amp hour battery that is paired up with a 5,000 watt motor. This thing produces a ton of power, maxing out at around 7,500 watts. And it will gladly throw you on your ass if you're not gentle with it. This also gives the Mantis a top speed of 51 mile an hour, making it ideal for evading California's dwindling police force. The bike produces roughly around 33 foot pounds of torque, making it very hooligan friendly and great at tackling inclines. Its acceleration is fantastic. And if you're able to keep the front wheel down, you can get from zero to 30 in two seconds, which is twice as fast as a Suron. It's also built to be longer and wider than the Suron, making it more ideal for the American market. I will be doing a full comparison video on this and the Suron once I get my hands on the customer version, which is set to be released around January of 2023. The claimed range is around 87 miles, but we all know that entirely depends on how you ride it and how fat you are. And finally, the bike will be fully charged up within three to four hours. So that's all the important stuff. It's not really worth getting into much more because again, this is just the prototype version, but I will get deeper into specs once I get the customer bike. Anyway, let's move on to the test ride. Okay then, here we are, getting ready for the test ride. Gonna be heading up uh, this trail right here, which goes around the suburbs. Some nice steep hills, great place to test this bike out. Okay, so when you turn it on, the first thing you're gonna see is this little P Penis. right here. Now, what that means is that the bike is in park, which is kind of an equivalent of neutral on a normal motorcycle. So what you gotta do to get it going is push that little button there and it goes away. What you're gonna do next is select which riding mode you want. You have sport and you have ordinary. However, what makes this bike pretty unique is that in ordinary mode, you have three choices of ordinary you wanna pick. So you have one, which is eco, two, which is less eco, and three is let's kill all the dolphins and go ham. And then you have sport mode, which is extremely, extremely responsive. Very talky bike, especially on a full charge. Be very, very careful with that sport mode, man. It's easy to loop this thing. I almost did it yesterday a couple times. You also have a little reverse mode, actually. So if you hold that button and twist the throttle, <laughs> it'll reverse. Other things that you have here on the dash um, are some light switches, a horn, and indicators. Again, this is a prototype bike, so a lot of the stuff is probably not going to come on the first version of the Mantis. This is probably going to be for the road-going version. They are also going to be making a 72-volt version of the Mantis as well, which is going to be really exciting. But anyway, that's enough boring talking. Let's get up this hill. See how much fun we have. <laughs> Man, that acceleration is fantastic. Heading up here. Nice. So, like I said before, this is the prototype version. They did ask me to be very, very careful with it. So, I am, as you can see. The first sensations I can tell you is that the front does feel very nervous, but that is possibly because of the tires on here. And the guys over at RAR said that one of the things they will be changing for the customer version of this bike will be the tires. So it probably won't feel the same as this. As a matter of fact, they were pretty cautious on letting me test this bike at all because, again, it's going to be completely different than the customer version. This has a bunch of stuff that isn't even going to be on it, but. Nevertheless, man, I really wanted to ride it and show you guys what this thing can do because I like what they're doing. And it's awesome to see another competitor to the bike like the Suron, which is, um, I'm a new proud owner of a Suron. So I'm gonna make some comparisons between this and the Suron, which is obviously what everyone is gonna be thinking about when they ride this and see it. First off difference I'm seeing is the riding position. The seat feels a bit higher, and it is, it's about an inch higher. And also the handlebars on the Mantis sit quite a bit lower. As you can tell, there's not really much of a stem there. So it's closer towards your hips and towards your crotch, which 
I'll be honest, man, I don't think I really like that setup. I think it'd be cool if we had some risers on there. I would like to mention real quick that they did in fact raise the handlebars on the customer version. This feels a lot more like a dirt bike than a mountain bike, which is what the Suron feels like. Um, this is also a little bit heavier, weighs about 120 pounds. This bike has a top speed of about 52 mile an hour. I didn't see this bike do that. I think possibly because it's just got a different setup than what the customer versions are gonna have. But still it's very fast, very talky. And I am getting a little bit more use of the handling. So it's, it's a ton of fun, man. I'm really enjoying this so far. It's smooth. It's a nice height, a nice size for a guy of my height. I'm about 5'10", 5'11". Yeah, beautiful bike. Lots of fun here. Like I said earlier, Rara is going to be an LA-based manufacturer, which is a good thing. That means you're going to be able to get parts directly from the United States. You don't have to import them from China or Alibaba. You're also going to be able to buy these bikes in dealerships um, across the country. Maybe motorcycle dealerships or, or bicycle dealerships. I'm not entirely sure yet. But that is also another exciting thing. And it's also cool to have a bike in the ultra lightweight uh, dirt bike class, electric dirt bike class, to be based here in the US. Because you got Segway, but that's basically a Suron. And this is, this is a new thing, this is its own thing. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about the Mantis. Uh, personally, I love how it looks. I think it does look better than the Suron. Although, this big plastic piece right here, if this was my bike, <laughs> that'll definitely have to go. The Mantis brand new is going to cost around $5,000, which in my opinion is a pretty good deal for something like this. For something as capable as this, for the range it can get, the speed it gets, that's pretty good value for money, man. I like this bike a lot. I'm um, looking forward to the 72 volt version as well as the road going version, which hopefully has some cool supermoto tires. Mantis was very, very prominent. Like, please mention this is a prototype. It is not going to be the customer version. Uh, but even though it is a prototype, it's a lot of fun. It's built very well. It's smooth. It rides more like a dirt bike than it does a mountain bike, which is where the Suron, that's how the Suron feels. It feels like a mountain bike, but on steroids. This, because of its size and its length, feels a lot more like a dirt bike, which is a good thing. It's a lot of fun. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is my test ride on the Mantis. Thank you all so much for watching. Please hit that like button, and uh, yeah, I'll see you all next time.